Good evening. Are you uh, ready to go to the streets and nightlife of Buenos Aires? Good. This is Astor Piazzolla, who was a virtuoso bandoneon player. The bandoneon, for those of you who follow tango, is an accordion, but instead of having a keyboard, it has buttons, and they're actually particularly difficult to play. Um, Piazzolla wanted to develop further and push himself, and he went to Paris to study composition. He wanted to be a classical contemporary composer, and he studied with one of the foremost pedagogues of the day called Nadia Boulanger. Uh, he actually struggled quite a lot to find his own voice, and at one point, um, he played for her some improvisations of his new tango and those ideas behind them. And she said, this is you. This is your music. This is Astor Piazzolla. And so combining his uh, virtuosity performing and his compositions, he went ahead to create one of the most successful bands in Argentine history, traveling around the world, performing his new tango. Um, and uh, unfortunately, back at home in Buenos Aires, the traditionalists, those who um, would be following classic, classical tango, um, people like Gardel, uh, if you know about the early days in the 1900s, uh, were incensed with this new direction. They hated it, and the critics uh, ripped him to shreds. Um, but his music was like a tidal wave of, that couldn't be stopped. And he just continued performing everywhere around the world. And um, uh, his music is now appreciated and loved by, by many. He died in uh, 1980, uh, 1982. Um, no, 1992, sorry. He wrote this piece, the Grand Tango, in 1982. And he wrote it for two um, giants of their instruments, um, superstars, uh, Rostropovich on cello and Marta Argrich was the pianist. But they never got to play it together. And uh, it's said that the reason they didn't play it together is that at the time that it was written, they were going through a, a thing. And uh, by the time it was completed, that thing wasn't happening anymore. And um, so they don't want to play it with one another. Um, but I'm delighted tonight to be playing it with <laughs> my close friend and colleague, Anton Smirov. So and this is just to prove that one can play this piece without having to have an affair with them. 